Hey guys, this video is mainly for Rockstar. I've been having issues with uh, some of my vehicles that I'm not able to upgrade. Vehicles that I purchased when I was in when I had my PlayStation 4. And right now, as you let me stop this thing right now. Do this. You can see that I'm basically online. Profiles over there and all that. And uh, level 87. This is not a hacked profile. I don't do those kind of things. But uh, I'm kind of using my phone to do this video, so kind of bear with me. I'm going to drive into my house. And uh, I'm going to do... I'm going to show you this. Because Rockstar are kind of pissing me off. I kind of emailed them about this whole issue. And they're telling me that I never purchased this vehicle, so I don't have it. Which is bullshit, you know. I'm really pissed off about it. It really pissed me off. This is my garage. I have basically two garages and as you can see this one is mainly for my supercars mainly my supercars that I normally keep over here I mean it's not the best it's not all that crazy stuff but uh we're gonna take this car right now and click the down button I'm not sure if you see it properly but it shows that it's actually insured and all that stuff but anyway let's come out I'm gonna pause this video real quick while I head over to Los Santos uh, Customs, okay? So guys, we're back and um, I just arrived at Los Santos Customs. Again, I'm gonna show you same profile right there. I'm still online and uh, same vehicle. This is my vehicle. There's, as you can see on the map, there's no other player on this on the, on the in this section. So drive over to Los Santos Customs vehicle. I mean, let's turn around again poor quality video as you can see it says this vehicle cannot be modified why the heck can't this vehicle be modified this is my vehicle you know I paid for this vehicle there is no reason why I shouldn't be able to modify this vehicle as you can see it has the underglow kit paint job this actually has the tinted windows I mean all that stuff I modified it before I mean the underglow kit didn't is not even on the PlayStation 3. It's actually in the PlayStation 4, I believe, only. And this is I bought this car when I had my PlayStation 3 account. But when I bought a PS PlayStation 4, I transferred it. I've used this car. I've upgraded it. You know, I played it with it for a while. I haven't been driving it as much as before. I have, I don't know if it has anything to do with um some upgrade or recent upgrade or anything like that. But as you can see, vehicle access, this is my vehicle, you know, remote. I wouldn't be able to turn on the engine if it wasn't mine. I wouldn't be able to turn on the headlights. I wouldn't be able to turn on the neon lights. I wouldn't be able to um, open all doors. As you can see, this is my vehicle. Two of my vehicles, I'm having the same problem with this. I need Rockstar to fix this. I need Rockstar to give me access so that I can sell and do whatever it is that I want to do with the cars that I purchased. I purchased Rockstar. I, yeah, I actually, bur actually, excuse me. Excuse me, guys. I'm really kind of pissed off, so I'm kind of blabbering right now. I actually purchased shock cards, and I purchased this vehicle, you know. I don't know if Rockstar can go to my account and they can see that I actually have been I have actually purchased shark cards before. And I use that money to buy this vehicle. I'm basically saving up. As you can see, I don't have that much money, but I've actually been saving up so that I can get some of the new super cards that are on 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 not with actually wrong way. Uh, this thing pisses me off. You know, I'm kind of upset because I emailed Rockstar. They're telling me if it's a war stock. I didn't purchase any of these. I don't own any of these vehicles. I haven't purchased any of these at all. Even I believe I even believe that even if you purchase these, you should be able to change the color if you wanted to. But anyway, that's besides the point. I came over here. And I purchased the vehicle from my old when I had when I purchased this when I had the GTA this is the car right here this is the car right here you know 700 725 thousand you can't tell me that I didn't purchase this vehicle okay so I'm having problems with that car and which
which other car? Uh, I think it was the Jest Jester, I believe it was. Where's Where's the Jester? If that's the name of it, anyway. I may have already passed it, but I don't know. I'm just so kind of I'm kind of pissed off right now, guys. You know, I emailed Rockstar about this whole issue. And they have the courtesy to tell me that, oh, I didn't I didn't buy this car. What do you think I did? I hacked it? I didn't hack it. See, it's not even here. Where where where's the other car? That's that's weird. That other car is not even here. Anyway, that might have been when I when the GTA first came out. I purchased it on the CD. I had it on the CD. My CD broke. I paid. I purchased GTA from the the PlayStation Network, so I have it. I can download it as much as I want in any system I want. That's why I purchased it from GTA. I didn't want to have to get another CD, and I end up losing it or breaking it again. And I actually don't see the other the the gesture over here, which is kind of weird. I'm not sure if um if they took it out of the options or what. But um, I'm having oh, it's right there actually. I'm sorry guys, it's right here. This vehicle right here. I have also purchased this vehicle. I have it in black. I have customized it. And when I bring it to Los Santos Customs, it tells me the same thing that I'm unable to modify this vehicle. Why is that? Rockstar fixed this issue. I've seen a couple of people that have been complaining about it since 2013. So this has been going on for a, for a very long time. You know, you need to fix this, you need to fix this issue. Or you need to refund people their money, man, because this 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 is ridiculous. This is this is I'm I'm pissed off. This is this is not acceptable. I mean, this is not, I actually also have this vehicle right here. This vehicle too is actually locked. I can't modify this vehicle, and I have it in my garage. If you go back, if you rewind back to the, to the beginning of it, of this video, you would see that I have this vehicle there. I don't want to have to drive all the way back just to do this. I'm trying to do this a short video, just for Rockstar, to see that. I purchased these vehicles. I'm not sure. Let me let me see. let me even let me let me let me try something, guys. Let me let me do something stupid, and go into my account, and see what happens if they will show me by any chance the uh, the possibility of uh, of my transactions. You know, if I'm not sure if they if they store everything in there, but um, um, transactions log, I guess. So I guess you cannot basically go further than that, huh? So that's as far as it goes. Well, that's not my fault. There's that. That's their fault. They cannot log if they cannot save our logs properly. As you can see, these are all missions, 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 missions. I don't have a hacked account. I don't do. I don't have any friends that have a hacked account. Even people that I see that have hacked accounts, they're over level. 800, 800 or, 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 or even a thousand. God knows how they manage to do those kind of stuff. All right. User profile is right there. I don't care that I'm showing this out because I know a lot of people out there are having the same problems. Level 87. I don't have a billion, zillion, got zillion uh, amount of cash. I don't have all that. Rockstar, fix this. Thank you. I do apologize for the poor quality of. Uh, the poor quality of this video and uh, I hope you guys can resolve this issue as soon as possible.